Hey, hey, easy jeezy here. Friday night, we're not at the Smash Burger. Pretty much the same crowd, but they're having a little uh, benefit here uh, at Applebee's. So uh, everybody came over. A couple of buggy guys are gonna show up uh, later. And I uh, thought I'd just do a, a little walk around here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on any one car, there's too many of them, but uh, give you a little flavor of uh, some of the rides we got over here in Colorado. And it's rained on and off. It's rained like five times today, so these guys have been busy wiping them down and, and uh, having a good time. So. Yeah, I don't think that's a, a 59 motor, <laughs> but anyhow, yeah, we got some good ones. Maybe I'll just be quiet and put these to music. 409, nice. Love it. Supercharged vet. Definitely has that nice little wine. Oh, sorry about the shaky cam. It's it's raining right now. Just trying to. So uh I'm just gonna, in case some of these guys bail out, I'm gonna. <laughs> you guys have seen this one before. It's still looking good. Sounds like he's got the lake pipes open. Makes a heart pitter patter. Nothing like an old cam push rod engine. That's where I grew up on. Oh, look at that. The Weber Dilemma. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a clogged idle jet. Uh, <laughs> Same basic deal though. Trouble is, I don't know if that's an open plenum or not. If that goes directly to each cylinder, that would be just, you know, you could take a, a uh, infrared temperature gun and you could hit the exhaust pipes, find out which one's colder than the others. Um, you could uh, screw them in if it doesn't do anything. You know, that's not the, uh, that's probably the one. If it starts running and missing and you hear it, then that, that's operating properly. But if you turn it all the way in and it doesn't change, then you know that uh, that's probably your, your uh, <laughs> culprit. So uh, I don't see a fan. Oh, he's got electric fans, of course. Yeah. I always thought I wanted one of these uh, Cobra kit cars, but uh, I can't afford that kind of stuff. So uh, I stepped up to Volkswagen, bah! <laughs> yeah, right. You know, it is what it is. Oh no, I've got room for it. And that's not a problem. It's just you're doing too many things to burn yourself. Have you guys done this yet? Yeah, really hard to get to those spark plugs in the old days. 
course, back in the old days, if you had a, a worn motor, you might be changing those things pretty regular. Nowadays, you go 100,000 miles, right? <laughs> hey, now, there's a, there's a nice boating can, an old paint gun, an old <laughs> siphon feed paint gun. That's cool, you know? Evidently, somebody knew how this, this show worked. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I think I'm going to put a ticket in there, just hell with the vehicle. Just, just on the, yeah, creativity award. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I always thought I wanted one of these, but I can imagine. Look at those. <laughs> those things are, are two hands wide, for sure. And get a little lightweight. You don't need a hopped up motor for that. As light as that thing is, I bet you that whole car is is uh, well under 2,000 pounds, probably more like 1,500. And uh, you hit a little water and you goose it, and uh, oh, is that ever fun? Probably a three speed or something there, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you know, these, these kind of things are fun. Disc brakes, that's nice. Looks like he's got them all the way around. 1923 Ford T bucket. Yeah. You betcha. Hudson. Cruiser. I love these little wing windows. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for going along on the ride with the 69 Baja. Easy, jeezy, out.